Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And this is my triple comparison between the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, Redmi K20 Pro, and OnePlus 7 Pro. Now I'm gonna do this video a bit differently today. I'm gonna streamline the laundry list process here. So we'll go through all the specs. Really wanna talk about these phones and why I think each of them has some value to a certain type of user. So which phone is best for you? And then let's also wrap up with some PUBG gameplay at the end. So let's get started. So talking about design, 196 grams, 191, 206. So all these phones are pretty hefty, but the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is definitely the thinnest at 7.9 millimeters versus 8.8 for these two. And you see there, all these phones are very well made, but there's just something about, look at the edge there on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It is one of the most beautiful edges on a phone. I've never seen glass just kind of seamlessly go to an edge as well as I've seen on this one. These two are much more standard in their design. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus just has a level of fit and finish which is unparalleled. And I'm saying that compared to not just these Android phones, I'm saying that compared to even the iPhone. This is the most beautifully designed piece of hardware and in this aura glow, look at that, it's just stunning. Now, the other thing that's stunning about this phone is this beautiful 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Not to say that the 6.39 inch and 6.67 inch displays on these phones are bad. In fact, the OnePlus 7 Pro still has a solid display in comparison to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But you see the bezels on these phones, they are tiny, but the Note 10 Plus just takes it to another level in terms of design and display. But considering its price point of 450 US dollars, just about the K20 Pro still brings a lot of design chops and you can see it there. It's got some tiny bezels as well compared to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro. So if I'm looking at overall design, I'm gonna give the award here to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, just hands down, one of the nicest designed and best hardware device phones I've ever seen. This is just the nicest hardware that I've seen on any device. So really, compared to iOS or Android, it doesn't matter. This Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the prettiest phone on the block. And that goes for display as well. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is dynamic, 6.8 inch QHD AMOLED display is just a looker. It is just at another level. The colors, they just pop. And overall, I think it is the most beautiful display that's ever been released on a phone. And here is YouTube playback on all three phones. And I gotta give it straight off to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Just in terms of colors, in terms of just vibrancy, the colors just pop off the display here. Now I know what you people are saying, for all you punch hole haters and notch haters, you cannot unsee that dot at the top there. You know what, it doesn't bother me that much. And I really don't think, especially the fact that the bezels on this are just so much smaller than on any other phone, it doesn't bother me. Now I know in content it will probably be more obvious than in using the phone day to day, but just look how small the bezels are on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So if you are a punch hole hater, then obviously you're not even considering this phone and you have the pop-up camera options like the K20 Pro and OnePlus 7 Pro at your disposal. So these phones all do a great job in content, but if I have to give it to one just because of the, that amazing display quality, I'm giving it to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And quick mention of DRM info. So we only have one wah, 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 on this list, the K20 Pro China version though. And I'm very curious to see now that the Mi 9T Pro is available here in Hong Kong, if it does have L1 status, it should. So HD capability on both of these phones. And another thing that's very similar with these phones is performance. So we got that Snapdragon 855 on the Note 10 Plus K20 Pro and OnePlus 7 Pro with the major distinction between these phones being the RAM. So this Note 10 Plus is the 12 GB version. You can see it there, that is insane. And the K20 Pro maxes out at 8 GB. The OnePlus 7 Pro I have is also the 8 GB version. You're not gonna have any problems with performance on any of these phones, but if I had to give one the performance edge, it's gonna be the OnePlus 7 Pro. And a lot of it has to do, as you know, with that 90 hertz refresh rate. Now, it's not to say that this phone is any faster than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. In fact, it might not be. In fact, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus might have it beat in terms of holding apps in memory because of that increased RAM. If you have the 12 GB version, it'd be a much 
more kind of equal comparison, but there's something about 90 hertz that you just cannot let go. Once you've seen it, you really start comparing other displays to it. I use so many 60 hertz displays though that I'm still kind of used to it, but every time I pick up the OnePlus 7 Pro, there's just a level of speed and just overall fluidity that cannot be compared to. And I know that gaming phones do have higher refresh rates as well, and that's why they are very appealing right now in this day and age. But the OnePlus 7 Pro is much more mainstream. And so I'd say from a mainstream perspective, it is the phone that you can really enjoy this on the most, and is why I think that if you're picking up this OnePlus 7 Pro, even today, you're already gonna enjoy that beautiful, fluid experience, and just feels faster than any other phone still that I've tested today. So talking about battery life, we have a 4,300 milliampere capacity on the Note 10 Plus, 4,000 and 4,000 on the K20 Pro and OnePlus 7 Pro. And if you've seen my drain test, you'll know that both the K20 Pro and OnePlus 7 Pro have done a great job in terms of battery life. Now I will say, coming to now almost a week of use on this Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the battery life has been good. It's been really good actually, but I don't think it's to the level of some of the top phones I've tested like the P30 Pro, like the Asus ROG Phone 2, and some others. This phone I'm actually using right now on that QHD setting, so it's probably going down even more. I actually think this six hour screen on time is close to right for this phone. But I do think if you want to conserve battery life on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you'll definitely want to turn off the QHD setting, which I think is kind of silly though, because why buy a QHD phone if you're not going to use it at the QHD setting? I like to max all that stuff out, just like I'm running the OnePlus 7 Pro. But if that is a concern, go ahead and use the 1080p setting or even lower on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and you will probably get terrific battery life overall. And now for a quick audio speaker test, but just wanted to point out, of these three phones, there's only one that has a headphone jack now, and that is the K20 Pro. And so you can say that's already a victory for this phone over the other two. Let's go ahead and play some music now on these three phones. I'm gonna move the mic down actually, so we can try to see if that creates a better listening experience for you guys. So what can I say? In this audio speaker test, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus runs away with it. It's not the loudest of these phones, but it's definitely the best sounding of these phones. There's just more clarity to the sound here. And you may have heard it there, the OnePlus 7 Pro definitely gets louder, but the sounds are just a bit more muffled. I don't think there's as much clarity and the mids are, are really a little bit muddled. Now the K20 Pros, Definitely are probably the worst of the three, but not as bad as I would say. It's kind of in that range of the Mi 9 and Mi Mix 3 and some other of the Xiaomi phones I've tested. So it's not a middling speaker, but it's, I'd say, a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 speaker overall. But this Galaxy Note 10 Plus is more like a 9 out of 10 speaker, but it's not to the level of the 10 out of 10s like the ones on the Mate 20X. And I think even the Galaxy S10 Plus had more kind of more far reaching sound than the dual speakers on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But anyway, that is it for the audio speaker test. And quick mention of the cameras, all of these phones have triple camera setups and all of these phones also have wide angle, telephoto and regular shooting capabilities. God, look at that, that is, <laughs> that was not intentional there, that is so nice. So the point here that I'm trying to make is that all of these phones can take some great shots, but what about those secondary sensors? That's where some of these kind of fall short. I feel like the wide angle on the OnePlus 7 Pro is the one that falls the most short. It's just a terrible wide angle, it's not wide at all. Whereas the ultra wide on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, similar to the S10 Plus earlier, was solid and it just had a much larger kind of 
you know, viewed viewing area. Now, all these phones also can shoot 4K 60 FPS to varying degrees of quality. Now, Samsung has now included this super steady video mode. It does allow, and it's right up here, super steady on. It will allow for kind of more smoothness in the kind of walking or when you're kind of having more active video shooting. And talking about those front cameras, we have 10 megapixels and motorized pop-ups, 20 megapixels and 16 on the K20 Pro and OnePlus 7 Pro. No shot with BB-8 here, guys. Have a look at these samples and let me know what you think. And here we are for the PUBG action. Here we go. Now look at the settings of all these phones. I love that all of them are using all the way to the edge of the screen. So these are probably three of the best phones that you can game on in 2019. HDR and extreme settings on all of them. And we'll just stick with classic this time. Let's see, just making sure that we have everything enabled. And we have enabled anti-aliasing on all these. And we've disabled auto adjust graphics. So let's get started. Apply the settings to all of them, and let's get started. And it's time for the classic Frankie Tech Swim Test. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> oh, yeah. And here we are at the plane jump. What beautiful phones to play on, indeed. No stutters whatsoever so far on HDR and Extreme. Let's get down to the surface, get some guns, and get some action. All right, and here we are on the Galaxy no 10 plus and i can already tell you that gaming on this phone is a treat look at the tiny bezels on this phone you really just feel so immersed in the game and i raise the volume there for you guys to hear it there's already action happening here someone's shooting at me take that oh yeah one kill on the galaxy no 10 plus now let's go to the other phones and see how they're doing k20 pro up next and the K20 Pro definitely feeling the heat here. I'm getting shot at. We got to get some guns here on the K20 Pro real quick. And someone's shooting me on the Note 10 Plus again. Take that. Two kills on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And we're getting shot at on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Got to run over to those buildings to get some guns. And the K20 Pro is getting hot. Man, the left side is definitely feeling the heat here. Oh, and they're shooting me on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Where are they? There they are. Take that. Oh, yeah. That was a quick one. So the one kill on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Oh yeah. Oh, they're shooting me again. You see there? Oh man, there's a lot of action in this game. Take that. Two kills. Oh yeah. Oh man, they are relentless here. Three kills on the OnePlus 7 Pro in short order. But we gotta get back. But I'm getting shot at again here on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Three kills on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Booyah! <laughs> now let's go back to the K20 Pro and see how it's doing. And oh man, the K20 Pro is so hot to the touch now. I don't know if this HDR and extreme settings is good for it. There's no stutters to speak of, but it's definitely on the really, really warm side. Almost borderline, really hot side. So I would definitely make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area when you're playing this game. I got the air off here in the room, so that's probably contributing to the the excessive heat I'm feeling on the K20 Pro. There's some action. Let's get off this bike and get this dude right here. Take that. 
There you go. Finally got the kill on the K20 Pro, which is just so hot to the touch. Very surprising. Let's see how the other phones are doing here. I mean, all the phones are hot, but man, the K20 Pro is another level of heat. The OnePlus 7 Pro is also hot, but I think just the larger surface area, it is dissipating the heat a bit better here. And surprisingly, whoa, <laughs> where did you come from? And surprisingly, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the coolest. It's definitely getting warm, but it is still comfortable to hold on the, this left side. And that is just very interesting to see with the K20 Pro, definitely the hottest, OnePlus 7 Pro somewhere in the middle, and this Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the coolest to the touch. Let's get one last kill here on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Oh yeah, there you go. Five kills on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And that wraps up gameplay here on PUBG Mobile. So if I have to pick a winner, I'm going to pick the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It did it really great. You notice, look, where is the punch hole? You don't even see the punch hole when you're gaming, guys. It really just blends in. And honestly, the performance, whoa. There you go. <laughs> the performance was just solid. The OnePlus 7 Pro comes in second place here. It did a really good job. And it's actually not too... Well, now it's getting warm, but it's not that warm. But the K20 Pro, oh man, it is scorching at HDR extreme settings. Make sure that you get some hand protection when you're playing with the K20 Pro at that setting. Because I guess it's a little bit of a smaller phone, but it doesn't dissipate the heat as well. And it is just scorching. Surprising. So that is it for this video and my final verdict here on this epic triple comparison. Which of these phones would I pick? Well, it's a bit of a nuance kind of explanation here. And I do think that regardless of their price points, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus at the highest end at 1100 US dollars, the K20 Pro $450, so literally less than half, and the OnePlus 7 Pro in that 669 to 740, depending on which one you get. Price range, each of these phones brings something great to the table. And I think, you know, instead of picking one overall winner, because let's face it, guys, if money was no object, and if I was like, guys, pick one phone, I'm going to give you one phone for free, which one would you pick? Well, hands down, you would all pick the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Even if you hated Samsung, you could buy this phone, or I would give you this phone, and you would essentially then go and buy two K20 Pros for the price. Same as the OnePlus 7 Pro, you just wouldn't pick it, because from a price actual price differential you're getting more with this Galaxy Note 10 Plus and from a certain kind of feature perspective you are getting more as well from wireless charging you have that IP68 waterproofing you have a lot of really nice features we haven't even touched upon the fact that this has the S Pen which creates a whole nother suite of features compared to the other two and so this phone just brings so much to the table. It's got a lot of bells and whistles, but it doesn't have a headphone jack. <laughs> that is the one negative, I'd say, in terms of features that it lacks. But really, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has always been the everything phone. And I think if you just look at the most that you're getting in a phone, if money was no object, this would be your phone. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus brings amazing design. It is by far the most beautiful of any of the phones I've tested. Yes, it is a fingerprint magnet, but it is by far, in terms of hardware, just gorgeous. And so I would say if you are a user who wants the prettiest thing, who wants the absolute pinnacle of hardware on a phone, you have it here in the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And I really am curious to see what the Mate 30 Pro and the iPhone 11 do. But in terms of hardware, right now in 2019, there's nothing more beautiful than this phone. It is just a stunner. So for the prettiest thing award, I guess, for the best hardware on a phone award, it's definitely hands down the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But now let's talk about another aspect, performance. And when we're talking about performance, we're also talking about fluidity of use. And I give the performance award hands down to the OnePlus 7 Pro. This OnePlus 7 Pro is just it is just another level of fluidity that you experience, and it's not just that. The phone, the animations are snappy. I think the gestures on the OnePlus phones are by far the best gestures on any Android phone. And Oxygen OS also being a very, very light software skin just makes this phone fly. And if you value performance over anything else, this is the phone to pick hands down.
But last but not least, we talk about, and this was the reason, guys, why I put that poll up yesterday. I wanted to understand my audience a bit better. Some of you guys are gamers. Some of you guys are power users. And there's a lot of kind of aspects to each of those that make for a great phone. But the other thing that I noticed was that an overwhelming majority of you guys said you were casual users. You're looking for phones that offer great value for the price. And if I have to just pick one between these three, it is hands down the K20 Pro. The K20 Pro from design, display, performance, all the aspects that you look for in a great phone. When MKBHD talks about his five aspects of a great phone, great battery life, great display, great performance, great cameras, and just great overall build quality, I mean, this phone ticks all those boxes. It just, it does a lot for the price. And that is why I continue to continually tout this phone as if you're looking for value, the best option of 2019. It doesn't matter what other phones come out that do more. This phone may do so much more than the K20 Pro. The OnePlus 7 may have that beautiful 90 hertz refresh rate. Maybe it has better cameras in low light. Maybe the Galaxy Note 10 Plus can do steadier video, a better front facing selfie camera, and it definitely does. There are certain things that each of these phones have well above the K20 Pro. But what both of these phones don't have on the K20 Pro is value. If value is your number one priority, and it definitely appears from the surveys I put yesterday that that is the case for a lot of you, then you have no better choice than the K20 Pro. But hit me up in the comments, which phone of these would you pick? And that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. Bit longer video than I expected here. As usual, I always try to streamline, but I have so much to say about all of these phones that I really want to share with you guys. So I do appreciate the understanding. Feel free to use the time codes there to jump around to your favorite section. And that's it. Stay tuned, guys. Great content, and we all know there's a really exciting phone looming on the horizon that I can't wait to pick up as well. <coughs> Red Meat Note 8. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just coughed. Anyways, that is it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.